Hey guys, welcome back to Energy and Martial Arts, bringing you some videos about submission grappling, BJJ, MMA. Uh, my name is Tum, and today with me is Yannick, one of our students, going to assist me today in showing you one of my personal favorite chokes, guys, the triangle submission. I just love this choke, the power you can generate with your legs. It's a very tight choke, gains immense control. Uh, there's a lot of positions we can throw triangles from. Today we're going to look at the guard. I'm going to show you a very basic setup, just if you're a beginner to train. And later on I'm going to show a setup I like to do from active guard. I managed to pull this off in competition a lot of times. Uh, at grappling, also in BJJ with the gi. I just really love this uh, submission, so uh, let's get to it. Okay hey guys, so today we're going to look at a triangle. First off, we're going to start with a basic triangle setup and the mechanics of the triangle. Later on, I'm going to show you a more advanced uh, setup I like to use from Active Guard and a few variations. Okay, so let's dive right into it. So first, the mechanics of the triangle are that I'm going to choke uh, Yannick with my leg and her shoulder. So just to get started, for the most basic principle is I want to have one arm out, so that means out of my guard, and one arm inside of my guard. So the easiest way to do this is push one of her wrists right onto her chest with a stiff arm. Now I'm going to put my I'm going to place my foot on side, on the top of her hip and push my knee towards her shoulder so she cannot pull out her right arm. I'm going to lift my hip. Now this is important. If I want to take the triangle with my heel here, have a good posture, please. It's hard for me to break her posture down. So I want to lift my hip and collect her neck and her posture with the inside of my knee. Now I'm going to go down, A, B a bit to the side, close my triangle and squeeze my knees together towards my chest. So don't extend your legs because then she'll just fall, there's no pressure, but squeeze and get the submission. So one more time, I'm going to start off in a basic guard, I'm going to control both wrists, I'm going to push one of her wrists straight onto her chest, stiff arm pulling and pushing. I'm going to place my foot on the top of her hip block her shoulder, I'm going to lift my hip. Look, the distance I'm going to get with my hip has to be high, otherwise it's hard for me to collect her posture. So I'm going to go high, collect with the inside of my knee, A, B, close my triangle uh, and squeeze my knees together towards my chest to get the tap. So, the most important thing is that I have to raise my hips. So without your knee it's going to look like this, I'm going to raise my hips to make the triangle. So for the solo drill, the easiest part to do the triangle is going up, collecting. Other side, up, collecting. If you get that mechanic in, it's going to be very easy to collect her posture. Because in a, in a real situation, Yannick will be postured upwards. And if I only get my heel here, it's not, never going to happen that I'm going to pull her down. Yeah? If she leans forward, it's going to be super easy. But I want you guys to practice. Wrist on the chest, knee and all the way up, boom. Calf down on her neck. So don't close your triangle yet. If you close your triangle with her shoulder still in place, and then you have to A, B from here, it's gonna be hard. So just A, B, get the calf on her neck, close the triangle, and finish. Other side, so you can see the legs. Boom, go up, calf. Look, my calf is going all the way down on her neck. Now try to sit up. It's really hard to sit up here. If my calf is low on her shoulder, try to sit up, look. So I put the calf down on the shoulder, I'm going to close my triangle here, and I'm going to squeeze my knees together. So for the squeezing part, you can see the triangle here. If I just push my legs in a triangle, which tries to choke her, it's just getting larger. So what I want to do is I want to squeeze my knees together and bring them towards my chest. So you see the space slowly getting smaller, and that's going to make the choke. Okay, now this is a basic triangle. This is a nice way to practice, but in a sparring situation, it's pretty hard to actually pull this off. So uh, I like to work from a position I call active guard, which means I'm not laying flat on my back, which is not active. I want to sit up. So usually Yannick will control my posture uh, for two reasons. First off, it makes, it makes it hard for, uh, for me to pull her down, break her posture. Second off, she can hold my posture down. So it's hard for me to sit up. Boom. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull my elbow right underneath my uh, center of gravity, right underneath my center line of balance. 
So I don't go towards my elbow, push me down please. Boom. I pull my elbow underneath, Boom. like this. Push me down please, this. And I'm gonna go up with my hand. Even if she keeps pushing me down, I'm just gonna go up. High enough to not take uh, control of her neck, but go all the way over behind her armpit and push my elbow down. Now we're gonna fall together. I'm not gonna fall and pull, we're gonna fall together. Boom, to the mat. My left knee is gonna go up and put, down, put pressure down on her posture. Now from there I wanna control her biceps. And it's hard for me to push her arm back. Just hold your arm in place, look. It's, it's pretty hard. But if she wants to push her arm forward, that's pretty hard as well. So I just keep it in place, put my foot on her hip again and A, B out. So that my knee comes in. I take wrist control and I put my shin into the biceps and push and pull. Now I'm gonna AB again. You can put the foot on the inside of the biceps or straight go through. So I just put the foot here and I'm gonna kick out. Now I have to AB because I'm looking to my right side. I wanna turn all the way to my left side. Collect my shin, underhook the leg, close the triangle and finish from there. So one more time guys. We're in close guard. Yeah. I want to go for the triangle, but if she keeps good control of me, it's hard to put the arms out or she keeps her arms pretty tight. So I want to sit up to get to active guard. I'm going to A, B a little bit. I'm going to pull my elbow underneath me this way. And I'm going to push up on my hand also in a straight line. If I go diagonal, she's just going to push me down and I have to work again. So I go up and I go in a straight line, boom, up. Control the backside of her armpit, push my elbow down. I'm going to flare it down to control her posture. Get my knee in between, we're gonna fall down together, boom. Here I wanna block her biceps, A, B out, and get my knee in between. I'm gonna put my leg either with the foot on the biceps or just straight A, B, get some space, take it out, and immediately this hand is gonna grab my shin. So I'm gonna close the, the triangle, break her posture, keep my, shoulder, keep my knee to her shoulder, and I'm gonna A, B back. I like to grab a hold of either the underhook on the arm, or better yet, the inside of her leg, a, B, close, and finish the triangle. So now that we've seen both variations of the triangle, so we get the one from uh, the basic position, just putting one arm out, going for the triangle, shooting, getting the mechanics in. And then we have a setup from close guard, going to active guard and getting a triangle. Now we're gonna look at a few variations. So as you might have seen me doing, as I told us, making an A, B, so I get a nice angle to get the calf on her neck. But I also like to underhook her leg. So this gives me better uh, rotation to get the angle that I wish for, but also it prevents her from standing up. Because if I have a more normal triangle, she could just stand up, boom, put pressure on my neck and try to pass. So I want to grab an underhook on the leg, go for the triangle with either setup you want. I want to go underneath the leg, elbow deep. Now if she wants to stand up, it's pretty hard. And in this time, I can finish my triangle with ease. So a second variation is why I don't underhook the leg, but I'm gonna underhook the back side of her, uh, her triceps here. So we're gonna go for a triangle, and I wanna underhook with my wrist right above her elbow joint, collect my hands palm to palm, and twist in for a second submission, being a form of uh, arm lock. So I'm gonna close the triangle and squeeze for a triangle, and at the same time, I'm also gonna put pressure on her elbow here and rotate for an arm lock. So those are two variations on my right side, uh, just to make the triangle a little bit tighter, guys, a little bit stronger, a little bit more effective. So final thing I wanna discuss is an easy counter against a triangle, which will happen often. I'm gonna look at the other side. So I'm gonna go for a triangle. Uh, let's do it with the active guard setup from this side. I'm gonna AB, put my elbow joint underneath me, push up, collect her armpit, fall down, Control the biceps, A, B out, work towards the triangle, get all this A, B going, boom, collect my shin and go underneath. Now we finally make it to the triangle and she gets to pull her hand backwards, boom. So now this gives space between her uh, artery here and her shoulder. So I can try muscle pull super hard, I might get the finish, but if we just look at it technically, I'm gonna choke her with my leg and she just took out her shoulder out of the equation. So I'm gonna give her a new shoulder, being my fist. So she took away this possibility of me choking her. I could just force it through, or I could give up the triangle. I'm not gonna do, I'm gonna do neither of them. I'm just gonna put my fist 
right into her artery here, collect her head and just squeeze to get the submission. If this space is tight, she puts her head a bit there, it still makes it easy to choke or I make like a cat paw, I call it. Put the knuckles in, collect the head, just squeeze. Super easy counter. So once again, from the basic setup, wrist to the chest, on the hip, elevate, collect, take it. She's gonna counter, she's gonna put her hand backwards. You might also wanna go for the omoplata here, but sometimes she's leaning that side, so it's pretty hard to go. Just gonna give her a new shoulder, collect the head, squeeze, get the finish. That's it. Us. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope we helped a bit explaining some nice details from the technique or the video we showed today. Let us know in the comments if you have any suggestions whatsoever, something you want to see in the future. Uh, discuss one of the techniques, uh, some of your variations. We're super excited if you share your thoughts with us. Now please guys, remember to subscribe to the channel and put on notifications. We're gonna drop new videos, trying to get new videos to you every week or once two weeks. Put on those notifications so you get an email, you get a note when there's a new video available so you can start watching it, drilling it with your partners. Besides that guys, we're super excited that we get to share this with you. It takes a lot of time and effort. So for that reason, we created a Patreon account. The link will be down in the description below. Anything you can miss to support the channel, support our BGJ, support grappling would be much, much appreciated. Final note, we are wearing some very nice gear, uh, like this one or anything shown in the videos, black and white, with colors, with nice designs. That's all of our own gear called Energy of Fightwear. If you want to support us in a different way, hook me up, send me a message, order one of the rash guards, shorts, kimonos, geese, bags, belts, patches, streetwear, anything we have to not only support the channel, support the group, but also represent, show off some nice gear on the mat. Thank you so much. See you in the next video on the mat. Oh,